for a person to come outside talk, say election no go hold. Now principality now. I no go do one Would you call the cops? Following the suit by the Attorney General of the Federation, a court in Abuja has prescribed and declared IPOB a terrorist group. So I'm out here in Lagos to know what Nigerians think about this. I'm your very own sensational C-Classic. Do join me on this. Hey, 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 hey. There's a comment that Kanu made that there will be no election in Anambra State. Uh, that, that one is, uh, is wrong, wrong something. For election you must hold for Anambra. Because Kanu is not the governor. Kanu is not working on the under of federal government. Oduku gone will be former uh, uh, general gone will try this thing. It's zero. Uh, well, as of me, I do not support him in saying that. If you are pushing for something, continue pushing for what you are pushing. Don't say that there will be no erection in Anambra. The time he said it, I personally, I said, no, he did not do well in saying that. There must be erection. Declaring them as a terrorist group is an unacceptable, is illegal, is unconstitutional. It shouldn't be handled in that way. I think uh, Mr. President should look for a way of resolving whatever be the agitation or whatever they are agitating for. Let's just talk about IPOP for one minute. Okay. You are aware of the recent development. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. Federal government declaring and prescribing IPOP as a terrorist, a terrorist group. group. Yeah. What do you think of that? Well, I think it is a situation that has not been well managed. And everything still lies, everything rises and falls on leadership. And the body language of the current leadership says Nigeria has to be one. And it is not necessary for some individuals to come up with issues that want to tear the country apart. Do you have any advice for the federal government as regards the results of this? For the federal government, they should call them to a round table. What do they want? What is the cause? And what's the way out? That's the first thing. If we don't answer that question, we still have more violence. Making it illegal, they can go on and form another group. Federal government should restructure Nigeria. Everybody should come forward and move move ahead, move this country forward. The federal government should tread with caution. You know, let um, uh, everybody, uh, um, let there be dialogue. But in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the situation where the other party does not want to dialogue, then the federal government, they have the right to take whatever decision they want to take. What do you think, how do you feel hearing that Namdi Kanu is on the run, while the people he moved or the people he convinced to join him are everywhere dying. That is human being for you. Don't start what you know you cannot end. You put them in another, you know, you know, many people have already lost their life about this issue. But why, why, are, why is he running? Why, why do you want to uh, take his bail? They said he should not gather anybody again. Are you aware of that? But now, he was released by bail. He went and gathered people now. Call at them without saying, okay, which means you are saying, be moving, I've come behind you. The truth of the matter be say, person like me, IPOB, I've been a hype up the column. Now the pockets they, they fight for. If you shake and wear, wear, now where person they walk, line the shop, IPOB now walk on his own. So now where did they walk, line the shop? So, you're not going to kill yourself because of one person or one organization. They, they fight for their own interests. Nigerians, where they get sense, now they are belay they, they fight for and the betterment of our country. I think the declaration is right because they've gone to the extent of, uh, you know, burning mosques, killing policemen or security personnel. I think in that sense it's right. But do you think the cause they are fighting for is necessary? Well, I think the cause they are fighting is a good cause to some extent, but I don't like the idea of, you know, trying to maybe personally, people feel that they are being marginalized or something like that. So for them, trying to break away from the country, it might not be the solution to it, you get. 
I believe there are other better ways. Life is built on differences. When we stay on our different side, we look at our strong point, merge it together, we build a stronger nation. But if we focus on our weaknesses, we fight each other, we hate each other the more. North Korea, South Korea, Ukraine and Russia, Yugoslavia, it's all problem now. See what happened to Egypt, look at Tunisia, look at the whole of North Africa uprising. What has it led to today? It has destroyed those economy, the children, the future of that nation. So we stay together, we work on our differences and we build a stronger and a better Nigeria. Though most people from the eastern part of Nigeria decided to keep their opinions to themselves and saying they wouldn't want to talk to the camera, you've heard what my brothers and friends have got to say. What do you want to say about this? Have you got advice for the federal government and the IPOME members? If you have, then drop it on the comment box. Let's continue the conversation. Thank you so much for watching the show. I'm still your very own Sensational C Classic. Until I come your way next time, if you love it, do it. I'm not going to like Would you call the cops? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Fosby Luxury Hotel. At Fosby Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24-hour power supply, poor condition, free international calls, free time pumping service, and free car battery charge. So what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosby Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Linoba Michele off Rajirazaki Road, First Estate, Amuwo, or the First Estate. For more information or reservation, please call us on 080 75 or 080 90 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fossvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room, which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come, first serve. Fossvhotel experience the home of comfort. They come, they come.